Previously on For the Love of Pastry Gods, why? What in the pastry's name do you think you're doing? Bro! I shouted up at him. How dare he once again bring mud into my goddamn shop? I wanted to buy something, God. No! But absolutely not, bro! Not until you clean those fucking disgusting feet of yours, style. And animals, bro! Animals! Animals are not allowed in here! There's like food for pastry sakes! You know what I'm saying? He looks around as if he hadn't noticed and frowned at me. A poor man had formed at his feet as his sheep wandered around the shop aimlessly. Br bruh! Bruh! Smelling everything they could and tracking mud all over the place. Okay, bruh. Out! I I'm serious. Bruh, out! Out! All three of you, damn! Oh my god. Do I have to clean? I sighed and looked at the mess. I, I, sh I should start cleaning, but I'm all dressed up already, damn! Why you gotta do this, Benjamin? Why? Bruh! It's okay, bruh! Look, it's just mud, okay? It'll be fine. Okay, it's, it's just mud. You know what I'm saying? Th okay. It, it might be good for your skin. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, there's, you know, a thing called uh, like a spa treatment. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, the mud spa treatment. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I don't know if it exists in like a uh, elf world. Or, yeah, but, but maybe. You know? Maybe that mud is a uh, good mud. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Benjamin is the, like, what? Like a nature wizard or some shit. So maybe that mud is a good mud. So please, bro, for the love of peace, you guys, man, do not, do not cancel the date, please. Holy shit. So, I'm not going to laugh, because that's, yeah, no, don't be a baby, y'all yeah, know shit, but in this situation, right, in this situation, to make the date go on, I got to help you, right? Right? If I say laugh at him, I mean that's fuck backfire and don't be a baby. Yeah, true, but that's pretty much saying that he's gonna go home and wash. So, uh, I mean, either way, I bet it's gonna be the same, but fuck. Bruh, for the love of God, don't cancel the date. You hear me? So let me help you. Oh no, here's rats. Okay, bruh, let me help you up, alright? I walked over to him hurriedly, knowing exactly just how much he dis detested. Yeah. This had better not ruin our day. Yeah, exactly. I grabbed onto his hand forcefully as he shook and stared into the distance. He was in complete shock. Look, I, I tried to pull him up, but the mud under my feet made me fall backwards. What? Some more of the mud got splashed onto him and his face got covered. Son of a... He started shaking more and let out a shriek. He jumped up on his own. Uh, I, I have to go home. Uh, I, I need to disinfect. He screeched, staring horrified at the mud at, that was soaking into his clothing. Rally! No, bro, wait! No! Nah! I scrambled to get up after him and slid on the mud. God damn! By the time I stood up, it was too late. He was gone! Let out a huff of anger and stop my fucking foot, no shit, sending some mud flying across the floor. I spent, I spent the rest of the day tidying up the shop. Yeah, I decided to just go to bed. Son of a... Wait, Radley, just shower here, okay? You, I'll, look, I wash your clothes and everything. It would take him way too fucking long if he went to his house to shower down. Yo. You wash my clothes? He seemed to snap out of the state he was in for a second as he stared at me. Was, was he blushing? What, well, yeah, I mean, this way we'll still have time for a date later, right? I mean, bruh, don't worry, I got this. I got you, bruh, I got you. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, right. Okay, uh, if you don't mind me j using your shower, uh, yeah. Of course not, bruh, just, just go, alright? Leave your shirts and your pants and your underwear or box or whatever outside the door and I'll just grab them in a minute, right? I'll, I'll just wash them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He nodded 
and bounded up the stairs to my house. I finally looked back to the floor and let out a deep sigh. I'll just uh, uh, deal with this later. Benjamin, why? I closed up the shop again and walked upstairs. The shower was already running and... Was Radley singing? It was hard to hear above the sound of the water, but I pressed my ears to the door and... Yep, he was singing. Yeah. What a weirdo. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm a weirdo too to, you know, listening what the hell's happening in the shower. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I was just curious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I grabbed his clothes and brought them to my washing area. Decided that mine needed to be washed as well. Thanks, Benjamin, damn. I changed and threw them in with this. These are going to need to soak for a little while before I could get the dirt out, damn. I thought about what to do while I waited and decided to start cleaning the floor downstairs for a bit. As much as I didn't want to, it had to be done. I couldn't leave my bakery in such a state of absolute filth, no? The pastry gods would have my head for show down. 20 minutes later. The floor was finally clean, god. It wasn't so bad. Just a lot of, you know, scrubbing but nothing old Tony Cole couldn't handle, yeah. I dumped muddy water in the back and admired my work as the floor sparkled as if it were brand new. Or as if Radley had cleaned it, yeah. Speaking of Radley, his clothes should be done by now, yeah. I ran up the stairs and scrubbed the mud out with ease, taking each article of clothing out of the basin and wringing the warm soapy water out. They were ready to hang outside to dry. Hopefully they don't take too long. It's rather dry out today, so, I mean... I should have bought a dryer right damn. It should be fine, eh? Ah. 30 minutes later. Why is taking Radley so goddamn long? Is he still in the shower for 50 What? I glared up from the book I was reading to the bathroom door. The water was still go- <gasps> Brother, I how long are you gonna take your shower, damn? I peeked outside and sighed. His clothes should be ready by now, yeah. Uh, mean dear- what mean dear my way down the stairs only to find Oh my pastries What No No Brother why Brother For love For the love of God brother Why How the fuck did you even get into my pastry bro? It should be locked How in the fuck did you even bro? In fact, no! Please! You clean your goddamn feet, Dio! Not again! No! 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 What the fuck are you doing here, bruh? Didn't I tell you? G bruh, didn't I tell you to get out? Not only that my... But my shop is closed, but I mean, Dio! I shouted at the giant who stood in the doorway, looking around as if he didn't even know what the fuck he was doing. I was washed. Or I wash my feet, and the sign on the door doesn't say that you are closed. Uh, this guy, this guy, but you have a fucking sheep there. You have a sheep there. Did, did you clean your sheep's foot? Did, did, is it clean? My eyes went from his face to the still open door, which did say open to his feet, yeah. Oh, God, 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 God. I think I'm going to die, goddamn. Or kill him. Either way, yeah. His feet were soaked and his woolen pants dripped water all over the floor. The floor that I just... Just clean. Out. Get out. I glared at him. But I washed my feet. Will you, like, allow me to purchase something now? Oh my god, I refuse to... Gra Grace's question with an answer and I continue standing there, staring at him. In fact, you know what? Might as well just give him the fucking food, right, Dial? <sighs> Bruh, I have a date, so could you please? Okay, I will leave then. He turned and walked dejectedly out of the bakery and I couldn't help but feel a little bad. I mean, yes, I do feel bad, but bruh, I'm a little too busy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a date, bruh, and it, it's getting dark too, so could you please, bruh, come another day? 
Please. I let out a long sigh. I was sighing a lot today, goddamn. I'll... Deal with it. Yeah, deal with this later. Ah. I stepped towards the door, my foot landing in a puddle of water and slipped out from underneath me. Uh huh? Thud. Oh, shh. I whimpered. How was this so slippery? Wait a second. Oh, guy? Did he bathe in the rip? I had to stop myself from cursing his name as I pulled myself up, disgusted. Now, I was soaked and slimy. Better just go and grab Riley's clothes as then, and then, I mean, I'll be... Yeah, it'll be my turn to shower next. His turn to... Wait for me. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. I got his clothes and fold them as fast as I could and carefully walked back through my shop. I got upstairs and... As if it was meant to be, the water finally turned off. God, you, you take one hour shower dial. I placed his clothes on the floor gently and left the hall to make sure I didn't see anything that wasn't meant for my eyes. Sorry about that, Toriko. I took a quick shower so that I didn't leave you waiting long. He jumped into the room. The giant grin that he always had on his face dropped when he saw me. Ew, uh, what, what happened to you? He looked absolutely disgusted, and I glared at him. It doesn't matter, bruh. Okay, I'm taking a shower now. You, know, you hear me? I'm taking a shower now. And you had better still be here when I'm done with it. Okay? I walked towards the bathroom, and he flinched away from me. What? I raised an eyebrow. Nothing, Tony Go. You, uh... Uh... I have to go, sorry! <laughs> he bolted down the stairs! Radley! Oh fuck, hold on, please don't fucking slip and get dirty! I shouted after him and let out a growl. Fine, fuck, I'll just, I'll just shower and go see him later, goddamn. I quickly gla grabbed and changed of clothes and trudged into the washroom. I reached into the tub and turned the water on, feeling for the right temperature, you know. Hold on, you didn't use all my hot water, right, Bradley? I mean, you did spend like a fucking hour in the shower. Hopefully it's warm. Oh my god! Why isn't it warming up? Did he use all, all my hot water? I'm going to kill his ass. Damn! Hold on, is this the next day? I is this the next day? <laughs> Tony Go Girl, oh my god, I'm really sorry for you, damn. Uh, so did the, did the date not happen or something? <laughs> god damn, anyway. Yeah, six. Wait. Is that a bad thing? I just noticed. I'm like halfway and it's like only a li- Oh god damn. Did I choose the wrong choice? Ah oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll figure it out later. Yeah, six! Tap tap, tap tap, tap. Is this the next day? I'm guessing it's the next day. I sighed and dropped my fingers on the counter. It was almost noon and Radley wasn't here yet. He was never late. There had been almost no customers today. Everyone was probably busy with the festival and didn't have time to take a break and eat any delicious baked goods. <sighs> it was so quiet I could probably hear a crumb drop. He must still be bathing from the incident yesterday. My shower probably wasn't powerful enough for him, damn. That's it. Hold on to your muffins, Radsta. Tony Coz are coming! You know what I'm saying? I charged out of my shop and flipped the sign to closed. There was no way I could stand around in the quiet all day, yeah. We walked through the town was... No, the walk through the town was very similar to the day before. The hustle and bustle of the elves getting ready for the festival making it seem lively. Everyone was busier than before and I almost felt bad that I couldn't help. Almost. But there wasn't enough time for that, you know? I 
carefully dodged my way through the crowds and found myself standing in front of Radley's door. He had better be there. Damn. Knock, knock, knock. I pounded my fist on the door. Though quieter than last time, no need to attract attention to myself after all, yeah. I waited a minute and then knocked again. Knock, knock. As I raised my fist for the third knock, the door opened and revealed a dripping wet Radley. While wearing clothes? Are you wet right now? While wearing clothes? Is, is that what I'm saying right now, what? Hey, Tonyko! He grinned, his dopey grin, as if he wasn't hours late for his shift. Brett, Brett, don't you hate Tonyko me, Brett? My hands landed on my hips as I gave him a pout. You're late, Brett. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Did we have like a date today? No, for work. You fucking bread stick, bread damn! Did, did you, like, want to go on a date? He leaned against his doorway trying to look smooth by fucking failing, damn! You're asking me out, bro? I, I mean, I don't mind, uh... My eyebrow rose. This was the last thing I was expecting. Here I was chasing him and he was so willing to ask me out? Yep! He gave me his normal grin as he seemed to bounce from foot to foot. Wanna go now? Your hair is still soaked, bro. You'll catch a cold. Oh, Tony Co, don't worry about me. Uh, yeah. Or, all right then. Uh, let's go then. Uh, yeah. Where are we going? I feel like slapping my my hand to my fucking forehead. Goddamn! You asked me out, bro. You asked me out, and you don't even know where we're going. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the Carvers. Really, bruh? I, I, I sit up. Uh, I, I ground. Of all the places to spend our fucking first date. So apparently, yesterday there was no date. Fuck. We can, you know, just get food and go on a picnic. It'll be fun, you know? I sighed. Goddamn. Fine. Tonico, cheer up. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be happy about getting food from a rival? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. His face dropped for a second, but he soon perked back up. He poked me in the cheeks and gave me a bright smile. You'll be fine, Tunico. Just trust me. I let out a small hum and pouted. We didn't talk on the way to Carver's, though Riley seemed happy enough. He walked with a bounce in his step and his smile didn't fade for a second. Hey, uh... Here we are, my lady! He opened the door dramatically and waited for me to go ahead of him. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, what was that for? We're on a date, remember? He gently knocked his fist on the top of my head, then walked into Carver's Bakery with me. What do you want? Oh! Oh, nice place, Carver. Damn! It's so red and... I don't know, it feels a little mature, to be honest, yeah. Nice, yeah, nice place, bruh, yeah. Anyway. I should be one asking that, mm -hmm. The annoying and unfortunately very familiar voice came from behind the counter. Kyra glared at us with his arms crossed. What are you two doing here? We're just getting something to eat, bruh. No biggie, right? I right? Gla I glared defensively at him. Oh, so you finally come to your senses, Tony Cow. You have finally realized that I am and always will be better than you. He had an evil grin on his face and looked like he was ready to let out an evil laugh. Nope, Tony Cow's just taking a break, you know. We decided that it's okay to eat junk food every once in a while, you know? J junk food? Carver. <laughs> Carver sputtered, looking completely appalled. Brad, Brad, look, it, 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 look, it, it's a little diss, okay? It's a li it's fine. People talk shit to each other. In fact, you were talking shit to me, damn. So it's fine, all right? Just don't get too down, damn. How dare you come into my bakery and call my food junk? He was 
seething and I had to hold back a laugh. Sometimes I forgot that Riley disliked Carver as much as I did. So Tonico, what do you want to order? Oh, uh, I don't know. Where's the menu? What do you guys have? Whatever you, oh, okay. Whatever you want. Anything to, as long as you feed it to me. <laughs> God damn, Toriko! Um, does it matter? Be quick! Um... I don't know. I mean, I want- I, I, I kinda wanna order, but I don't know what's the menu is. In fact, there's a menu, but I cannot read it because it's it's too blurry, you know what I'm saying? I only see muffins, so... Yeah. Whatever you want. Anything as long as you feed it to me. Should I do this? Anything as long as you feed it to me. I hope the heart goes up if I choose this though. Probably not, right? Or should I be more like... A little mean, you know what I'm saying, to... Should I? Um... I don't know. Doesn't matter, be quick is kind of... No. Whatever you want is... See, on a date, when, a... when someone says whatever you want is kind of... Saying that, yeah, you're not enjoying... Yeah. You know what? I, anything. You know what? Anything. As long as you feed it to me. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Just give me food, bruh. Yeah. I grin and turn to look at Riley directly. You know, Rad. As long as you feed it to me. I don't really care what we get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah? I tried and failed to wink. <laughs> I should really spend some time practicing that, damn. He looked like he was holding back a laugh and I glared at him. What? <laughs> Nothing, Tony Co. I can do that, yeah! He tried to grin but was biting his lips to keep in the giggles. Never mind, bruh! God! He pow- no, I pouted and looked to the display cases. Nothing really looked like something I wanted to eat. Pick anything! My treat! Bounced as he talked, and I could tell he was happy to just be here. I heard a grumble from behind the counter and looked over to see Carver glaring at us. Just take this, God, pay, and get out of my shop already! Carver shoved the box with some sweet bread in it towards us and waited impatiently. Gee, Jelly Carver, that isn't very, like, professional of you, now. Nah? Really? Uh, find feel or uh, that that excuse me. Radley feigned feeling insulted and frowned at him. Not even letting your customer decide what they're getting. I mean, come on, Carver, dial. Pay and out. His glare hearted, and it was so obvious that he was trying to stay calm. Fine, fine. Radley quickly paid for the food and grabbed the box. We both walked out, and I let out a huff of air. I never realized just how much I appreciate the fresh air, Dial. Riley nodded in agreement and laughed. Want to go sit by the fountain? His eyes were sparkling and he looked more than excited. You aren't gonna, like, you know, to push me in, are you? Like, th that ain't cool, bruh, if you do. I mean, we're on a fucking date. Y you know that, right? I would never! He gave me a hurt look for a second before I... He realized that he was in fact pushed me into the fountain before, mm-hmm. Again, uh, a prank is only funny once, you know? So you'll never break my basket again, bruh? Never! You'll never make bad cupcakes, bruh! Never! You'll never jaw on my face while I'm sleeping, bruh! I glared at him. He paused. Then a giant grin spread across his face. Tony Co! I, I thought a prank was only funny once, right? Right? My eyebrows raised and he giggled. Except that one! Come on! Your face was priceless, I mean, dial! Huh! I pouted as he sat on a bench that lined fountain. Why would they even build a bench here? It's like they were like wanting people to get punished or pushed in, I mean, damn. Riley sat beside me with a thump and put the box between us. He opened it with the flourish. Eh, what? Flourish? Yeah, with the fl flourish, right? Yeah, flourish, and we both stared down at the small sweet buds. He grabbed one of them and broke a piece off. 
Here, Toriko. Say ah. He seemed all too happy about uh, already, Brad. Though, what are you doing, Brad? You wanted me to feed you, right? Oh, <laughs> Bradley, good job. I told you to. Never mind that, God. He pouted, and his face fell. Ah, goddamn! He gave me the kicked puppy look, and I let out a groan. Fine, Brad. Fine. Yeah! His grain came back and he brought a piece of bread to my mouth. He clumsily brought it up to my lips and I tentatively let him feed me. I could feel my cheeks getting warm. This was too embarrassing, you know? That it? Yeah, that's it! No, no more, man! Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay! He seemed happy enough to be able to do it once. The sweet taste was a lot better than either of us thought it would be, you know? We didn't talk much as we finished eating, and once we were done, Radley picked up the box and brought it to the garbage nearby. I stood up and walked over to him. Do you like want to go for a walk, Tony Cow? He bounced a few times again, waiting excitedly for my answer. But uh, we just ate together, you know. He stopped bouncing, looked confused, and pouted. Oh, you want to go home already? We haven't even been out for long. I guess I have a bit more time, yeah? Yes! Okay, let's go! He skipped ahead and waited for me to follow him. I couldn't help but roll my eyes and laugh at his childish antics. Ooh! We walked through the forest. The sound of nature were oddly calming, you know. I didn't take much time to just go for walks. So, this was nice. Yeah! It, wait, this is a forest style! There's like a crumbled, uh, uh, candy cane? Is that a candy cane crumbled tree or something? Damn! And there's a spearmint looking thing, yeah, and... Yeah! This is a forest style! Well, that's elf world, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Where are we going, bruh? I don't know. Just walk, you know? He grinned. I'm surprised he can handle all the dirt here, I mean. Damn. I saw him shudder out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> yeah. His voice shook and he was suddenly looking around everywhere, making sure to avoid any mud. He actively started dodging any strands of cotton candy from the trees. Uh, look, Brad, I I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to, you know, put you on the edge. Wh whoa! Wait, does someone live out here or something? Oh! We walked into a clearing with a small shack in. She. She. Oh. Oh no. Hold on. Is this where Benjamin lives? Is this where. Wait, is that a gingerbread house? No, that's that's a lumberjack house, right, Kyle? Or not really a lumberjack house, but you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Yeah, but still. Ho oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Please. Please, Benjamin, don't ruin the goddamn day, down. Benjamin, guy. I muttered dryly, Radley pauses before a devious grin spread across his face. Hey, Tsuriko! I have an idea! Is it a prank, bruh? I asked accusingly, but his smile only grew. Yep! Radley, you can't just go around pranking everyone, bruh! Especially on a goddamn date, bruh! But, but Tsuriko, we made a miss... Yeah, he made a mess of your shop, you know? I frowned for a second before realizing that he was right. Benjamin had come into my shop and made a mess twice, but... I don't I don't think he meant it, though. I mean, damn. All right, bruh. You know what? Fine. I'm game. What do you have in mind, bruh? We let the sheep out, bruh! Bradley... Bruh, that is like the most lame ass prank I ever heard. In fact, it's not even creative at all. I mean, shit, he did trash my place twice and uh, ruined the date too, so. You know what, bruh? Let's fucking do this. Yeah.